Good evening. It's December 12th. Time for chapter 12. And if you get to looking around and trying to figure out where chapter 11 went, well, I had a migraine last night and I just didn't get the video done. So I guess tonight's a 11 and 12 combo. Reading with a headache is kind of hard to remember exactly what I read. And I'm not entirely sure if I get if I get the 11 and 12 mixed up. But I get to thinking about, I know in, in the towards the end of chapter 12 is talking about how God takes care of us. You know, how the sparrow it neither tolls nor rapes, yet the Father provides for it. Every day, I watch squirrels play as I'm standing out in bus duty. And I realize that they don't have jobs. They don't go to the grocery store and buy their groceries. They eat what God provides them. They scavenge around and find nuts, berries, just whatever they can find. God provides all of that. Today Brett was going, made a video of his greenhouse and what's left of the garden. How he kind of wished more of it would have survived and how some of it is still hanging in. But it made me go back and think about all the things we've got out of the garden this year. We've put up a lot of it for this winter. And in the same respect, I think we're kind of a little bit like those little squirrels I've been watching. We put up and we store. And then I read in the scripture where he's talking about a guy who built bigger barns because his, his harvest was so large, he tore down his barns and built bigger barns and he and he said to himself, self, we've got it. We've done good. And God said, well, you know what? Your soul is going to be required of you this night. It was talking, talking about gaining a lot of stuff but not focusing on the right stuff. And we can spend a lot of time trying to be everything to everybody. We can spend a lot of time working and making money. And we can spend a lot of time just doing nothing. But what are we spending our time on? Really does matter. <clears throat> Don't remember if it was chapter 11 or chapter 12, but one of them, it said, that we shouldn't fear those who could hurt our body but not touch our soul but we should fear the one who can destroy both soul and body that's the one you should fear people can hurt us we can get hungry we could grow stuff and try to give it to people and they turn us down I had that happen a few times but all that matters is what God thinks of us. Like that little squirrel gathering its nuts and its berries and preparing for winter when there won't be as much stuff. God tells us to prepare for a coming time when he's coming back. When there will not be time to say, God, I'm sorry. Because it's coming. And it's coming quicker than we realize. We're only given so much time in this earth to make a difference. That's what I got out of the chapters. So I've watched those little squirrels run from spot to spot. Because I know there's a little pecan tree down the, the parking lot from our school. And you watch them run down there. And you watch them come back with a pecan. You watch them go over here and you come back with another different different nut. And you watch them run to the tree 
Then they go back across the parking lot. They're working diligently for a time when the nuts won't be on the ground. We need to work diligently for a time when sharing the love of Christ will be no more. When introducing someone who doesn't know the love of Jesus to Jesus won't exist. When we stand before God in, our ju in His judgment time, when He decides our fate, when he decides when that Lamb's Book of Life is, life is open. Those squirrels made ready for the winter. We need to make ready for the coming of the Lord. I believe in you. Have a great evening. God bless you.